Okay, welcome to the show, folks. We are here at Music City Studio. Uh, Mike Peterson's behind the scenes running sound for us today. And we have Loyal from Loyal Hair Therapy. Thank you for coming. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you for having me on the show. Uh, the biggest thing I want to talk about, so let's just jump right in with that. Sure. The I Am Me campaign. How did that start? What's the foundation to that campaign? Well, do we have a few hours? We do, but let's try it. Do they have a few hours? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, do you really want to watch this for a few hours? They um, do, they do. <laughs> the IME campaign started about two years ago with our partners at Bell Media and Sun okay. FM. Okay. And um, it's a big passion about uh, of mine because yeah. growing up gay in the Okanagan, it, it, it was really challenging for me. Okay. For obvious, I think for obvious reasons, right? Um, and I made a promise to myself that when I could make a difference okay. and when I had a voice, I would use that to create a bit of change in the community. And yeah. it's just gained momentum over the past two years. And really, it's a campaign about love, forgiveness, and most of all, acceptance. Totally. So. Okay, so you talk about um, you had a rough time. What? Where's Kelowna at? Like, what is... What does a rough time going to look like? What does that mean? Well, this is a long time ago. I think that we've seen tremendous change in the past totally. 10 years. Totally. totally. Yeah. Um, you know, middle school and high school, it's cruel to whether you're gay, yeah. whether you're straight, whoever, right? Yeah. And I think every person's story is different. Yeah. Mine obviously pertains to that subject. But, um, you know, you're really finding out who you are. And everyone is kind of, you know, at that age where they don't know who they are. They don't have an identity. So they yeah. kind of... Pick on the people that are different. And when you don't know who you are and you're being yeah. picked on, it's just a tough time. So you obviously know who you are now. I would summarize that. A little okay. bit. A little bit. Now, a yeah, little you're bit. Figure it out. Like, so, you know, people <laughs> get a hold of you for hair crises or even just, you know, the hair therapy part of your world. Like, so I talked to somebody like, hey, you know, he's probably one of the youngest, most successful entrepreneurs we've had in this valley. And I mean, Thank you, you. Can, you can take that for you. But you have, have a marketing savvy as well to your world. So what made you start that's that in that world well you know i've been really fortunate to be surrounded with people that have helped me have a voice and be raised up yeah. and my passion for marketing well it's fun right <laughs> it's so yeah. that's that's really what it's fueled by is that it's fun and that if if we can all come together and we can create change and empower others yeah that just fuels my passion even more so you so. find out with and you focus for your work on hair on hair, yeah. Hair. And but you've won tons of awards for it, by the way, so congrats. Thank you. Glory. A, and, a trip to Paris, perhaps. Uh. And, and Montreal. And, you know, I, I don't want to take all the credit for that because I work with an incredible team. team of course. Right? And um, without them, we wouldn't be where we are yeah. today. So um, I'm just so fortunate, like I said, to be surrounded with so many amazing people in all facets of my life. Now, surrounded by amazing people, I, I heard you went to Paris. Yes. And I heard you were surrounded by perhaps one distinct person. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Ian. And yes, Ian, Ian. Ian. Ian, Ian, right. Maybe some significant other. Yes. Um, and I heard there was a proposal that happened there. Yeah, uh, he proposed to me in Venice, actually, in Italy. In Venice, okay. Yeah. Now, my question was, because, again, not to be as ignorant, but I'm trying to learn as much as possible. How do you figure out who's going to propose to who in a gay relationship? I think it's just the trick who gets to it first. Okay, because I was trying to figure... Yeah, okay. So <laughs> he got to it first. I'm the one that likes to be in control. Oh, so I think he was trying to, to pull first. some wool over my eyes. And, and, you know, just actually today we were looking at a, a venue that we're thinking okay. about in the South Okanagan. And the nice thing about this is that it's not conventional and we can make up our own rules. So, totally. Um, the IME be... part, perhaps? Exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So it'll no, be fun. That's good. You have this style. You've won awards for it. We live in Kelowna. <laughs> so, yes, yes. So, so where do you come for your inspiration to stay ahead of fashion trends, which perhaps I would say, and you can be, I mean, fashion trends in Kelowna, I would say you're try, you're at the forefront so where are you being inspired from? Well, you, you know, we're so... The world is so impacted by social media right okay. now. Social media, media. Yeah. We're always... look. We have micro trends now, right? We look at celebrities and their hair, their style is changing like monthly, weekly, yeah. sometimes daily. And so we're really... Consumers alike are always reaching out to social media, to different medias okay. to find those trends. Um, of course, we've got like industry magazines and totally. industry, those types of things that yeah. we're looking at fashion week. Um, so that's kind of where, as a team, we sit down and we kind of start to try to predict where things are going, but yeah. no one really knows. So I guess, but in a way, though, because of that, you're setting the trend in Kelowna. Is that like, are you a part of setting the trends in Kelowna? Absolutely, yeah. Because you have so many people coming through your hair therapy salon, and it's just, so you're able to start that, right? Yeah, and I think people like to see that, and they like to know that they will be offered a change when they come into the salon, because God knows there's so many in the city <laughs> <laughs> there are lots there can... are a lot so do you see yourself expanding or like 
the you know, like, you know there's franchising whispers. or there's whispers in the wind. Okay. My right hand girl and I are talking about doing some good. franchise options, good. and um, it won't be Kelowna. It won't okay. be Kelowna, but um, we do have some things in the works. So glad to hear that, as I would expect, good. kind of Thank thing. You. So, so that's good. So you've got your passion for uh, social media, for fashion, and all this stuff. So let's talk about social media. Well, we, and when we say passion, let's lo- use <laughs> that loosely because it's almost like borderline addiction. Okay, well, I mean, hey, same kind of thing, isn't it? <laughs> well, no? yeah, it's oh, the phone has to be over there across the room. Do you want me to bring can't... it over? For no, you, no, because no? it'll buzz and then I'll okay. have to interrupt and okay. it won't be good. So. We can tweet you on the show, I think. Sure, We've never why done not? Why no, not? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> and so where do you find yourself? Is it Instagram, Twitter, Facebook? What are you, all of the above? Where we primarily focus is Facebook. It's the biggest community in okay. the world, really. If it yeah. was a country, it would be the largest one. Yeah, it was 1.2 billion now or something. Right? It's pretty big. Right? Yeah. Um, and then more Instagram because we're such a visual in- so, uh, visual yeah. um, industry. And I, I would love to try to get on Twitter more often, but... I tried today, as I said. I right? You, t- you tweeted me and I didn't get back to you because, yeah. you know, it's a conversation. And it's in that one, you basically have to be on your phone yeah, okay. the whole time. Yeah, I, I'm, see, I'm so into Facebook. I actually, as I said, I deleted it off my phone today to say, I got to try something else because I'm so focused you on You are but, brave. Yeah. You're brave. I don't know if I can. Yeah, do I went that. back on it on the on the computer, but, I mean, like, <laughs> but no, that's good. <laughs> but these addictions. So you live in Kelowna. You obviously are passionate about making this place better, kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> what would you like to see in Kelowna that maybe isn't here? Well, I think that everything has a natural progression and natural growth, and we can always sit back and we can criticize what has yeah. been done and what hasn't been done. And I think that everyone has that has been involved in the city to elevate it to where it is now yeah. has done the best job that they possibly can. And I think the best thing that we can do is support the people that are here to grow business and just grow our community to bring more people here and show them the, totally. the beauty of the valley. You're a part of that change. I guess how else, by, let's have that conversation. It's like, how do we fix bull, the anti-bullying? How do we? And that, that's a great thing to bring up, anti-bullying, because so many times the IME campaign is called an anti-bullying campaign, okay. which is what it started with. Actually, the first like IME the original version, yeah. um, we came out with all these different like bullying names on the shirts, like okay. Geek and Tomboy <laughs> okay. and Ginger and all these different yeah. names, right? And I sat back and it was an anti-bullying campaign and I thought to myself, you know, instead what? of fighting against something, yeah. supporting something and raising it up is totally. much better. The positive. The positive. Yeah. So this is an empowerment campaign. It's totally. not against something, it's for something. Yeah. And it's for love, it's for forgiveness and it's about acceptance. So. Yeah. That's what it's about, and when people talk about anti-bullying, yeah, fighting against it is only going to create more animosity. It's going to create more conflict. So, and, and perhaps, perhaps there's. I was trying, trying to be like I and me. The reality is sometimes when people are themselves, there's some overlap, which isn't always good. What do you mean? So we live in a rather conservative base in Kelowna, kind right? Of thing, right. So I and me means like I was, I was debating this in my head. I'm like I and me is I and me as an I'm a Whatever that person is, it could be I am gay, straight, lesbian, I am weird, Christian, I'm yeah, crazy. No, totally. It's like all that things. So there's overlaps in those things. Yeah. It's like when they go to there. So I guess how do we deal with the overlaps? Does that make sense? When people's opinions, because where the conflict comes in life, where the bullying comes from life is either insecurity or people's opinions are different and they're trying to almost force their ideas on other people, right? Exactly, so yeah. that's why I say, rather than making it overly complicated, it's just about accepting people for who they are. Awesome. And stop judging them for it, yeah. so that's what it's about. I love it. I think it's a great thing you've done, so thank, thank you very you. much for doing thank that. Thank you, my Thanks pleasure. for being on the show. Absolutely. And I uh, look forward to hearing any next adventures, whether it be expansions or uh, different roles. Or other stuff. roles. Other maybe. roles in the community, but that's good. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Mike, again, from Music City Studios. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I think me and Mike will probably try and get a or a better next style of haircut before we uh, connect next time. Awesome. Sounds good. Thanks for having me.